Alexandria is an independent city in the Commonwealth of Virginia in the United States. As of the 2010 census, the population was 139,966, and in 2016, the population was estimated to be 155,810. Located along the western bank of the Potomac River, Alexandria is approximately 7 miles 11 kilometers south of downtown Washington, D.C. Like the rest of northern Virginia, as well as central Maryland, modern Alexandria has been influenced by its proximity to the U.S. capital. It is largely populated by professionals working in the federal civil service, in the U.S. military, or for one of the many private companies which contract to provide services to the federal government. One of Alexandria's largest employers is the U.S. Department of Defense. Another is the Institute for Defense Analyses. In 2005, the United States Patent and Trademark Office moved to Alexandria, and in 2017, so did the headquarters of the National Science Foundation. The historic center of Alexandria is known as Old Town. With its concentration of boutiques, restaurants, antique shops and theaters, it is a major draw for all who live in Alexandria as well for visitors. Like Old Town, many Alexandria neighborhoods are compact and walkable. It is the seventh largest and highest income independent city in Virginia. A large portion of adjacent Fairfax County, mostly south but also west of the city, is named Alexandria. But it is under the jurisdiction of Fairfax County and separate from the city. The city is sometimes referred to as the City of Alexandria to avoid confusion. See the neighborhoods paragraph below. In 1920, Virginia's General Assembly voted to incorporate what had been Alexandria County as Arlington County to minimize confusion. Topic: History. Colonial era On October 21, 1669 a patent granted 6,000 acres 24 square kilometers to Robert Housing for transporting 120 people to the colony of Virginia. That tract would later become the city of Alexandria. Virginia's comprehensive tobacco inspection law of 1730 mandated that all tobacco grown in the colony must be brought to locally designated public warehouses for inspection before sale. One of the sites designated for a warehouse on the upper Potomac River was at the mouth of Hunting Creek. However, the ground proved to be unsuitable, and the warehouse was built half a mile upriver, where the water was deep near the shore. Following the 1745 settlement of the Virginia's ten-year dispute with Lord Fairfax over the western boundary of the Northern Neck Proprietary, when the Privy Council in London found in favor of Lord Fairfax's expanded claim, some of the Fairfax County gentry formed the Ohio Company of Virginia. They intended to conduct trade into the interior of America, and they required a trading center near the head of navigation on the Potomac. The best location was Hunting Creek Tobacco Warehouse, since the deep water could easily accommodate sailing ships. Many local tobacco planters, however, wanted a new town further up Hunting Creek, away from nonproductive fields along the river. Around 1746, Captain Philip Alexander II (1704–1753) moved to what is south of present Duke Street in Alexandria. His estate, which consisted of 500 acres (2.0 square kilometers), was bounded by Hunting Creek, Hoaf's Run, the Potomac River, and approximately the line which would become Cameron Street. At the opening of Virginia's 1748 to 49 legislative session, there was a petition submitted in the House of Burgesses on November 1, 1748, that the inhabitants of Fairfax Co. praying that a town may be established at Hunting Creek Warehouse on Potomac River as Hugh West was the owner of the warehouse. The petition was introduced by Lawrence Washington 1718-1752, the representative for Fairfax County and, more importantly, the son-in-law of William Fairfax and a founding member of the Ohio Company. To support the company's push for a town on the river, Lawrence's younger brother George Washington, an aspiring surveyor, made a sketch of the shoreline touting the advantages of the tobacco warehouse site. Since the river site was amidst his estate, Philip opposed the idea and strongly favored a site at the head of Hunting Creek, also known as Great Hunting Creek. It has been said that in order to avoid a predicament, the petitioners offered to name the new town Alexandria, in honor of Philip's family. 
As a result, Philip and his cousin Captain John Alexander (1711–1763) gave land to assist in the development of Alexandria, and are thus listed as the founders. This John was the son of Robert Alexander II (1688–1735). On May 2, 1749, the House of Burgesses approved the river location and ordered. Mr. Washington do go up with a message to the council and acquaint them that this house have agreed to the amendments titled an act for erecting a town at Hunting Creek Warehouse, in the county of Fairfax. A. Public Vendue auction was advertised for July, and the county surveyor laid out street lanes and town lots. The auction was conducted on July 13–14, 1749. Almost immediately upon establishment, the town founders called the new town, Belhaven, believed to be in honor of a Scottish patriot, John Hamilton, 2nd Lord Belhaven and Stenton, the northern neck tobacco trade being then dominated by Scots. The name Belhaven was used in official lotteries to raise money for a church and market house, but it was never approved by the legislature and fell out of favor in the mid-1750s. The town of Alexandria did not become incorporated until 1779. In 1755, General Edward Braddock organized his fatal expedition against Fort Duquesne at Carlisle House in Alexandria. In April 1755, the governors of Virginia, and the provinces of Maryland, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and New York met to determine upon concerted action against the French in America. In March 1785, commissioners from Virginia and Maryland met in Alexandria to discuss the commercial relations of the two states, finishing their business at Mount Vernon. The Mount Vernon Conference concluded on March 28 with an agreement for freedom of trade and freedom of navigation of the Potomac River. The Maryland legislature, in ratifying this agreement on November 22, proposed a conference among representatives from all the states to consider the adoption of definite commercial regulations. This led to the calling of the Annapolis Convention of 1786, which in turn led to the calling of the Federal Convention of 1787. In 1791, Alexandria was included in the area chosen by George Washington to become the District of Columbia. Topic Early 19th century In 1814, during the War of 1812, a British fleet launched a successful raid on Alexandria, which surrendered without a fight. As agreed in the terms of surrender the British looted stores and warehouses of mainly flour, tobacco, cotton, wine, and sugar. In 1823 William Holland Wilmer, Francis Scott Key, and others founded the Virginia Theological Seminary. From 1828 to 1836, Alexandria was home to the Franklin and Armfield Slave Market, one of the largest slave trading companies in the country. By the 1830s, they were sending more than 1,000 slaves annually from Alexandria to their Natchez, Mississippi, and New Orleans markets to help meet the demand for slaves in Mississippi and surrounding states. Later owned by Price, Birch & Co., the slave pen became a jail under Union occupation, a portion of the city of Alexandria, most of the area now known as Old Town, as well as the areas of the city northeast of what is now King Street, and all of today's Arlington County share the distinction of having been the portion of Virginia ceded to the U.S. government in 1791 to help form the new District of Columbia. Over time, a movement grew to separate Alexandria from the District of Columbia. As competition grew with the port of Georgetown and the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal fostered development on the north side of the Potomac River, the city's economy stagnated. At the same time, residents had lost any representation in Congress and the right to vote, and were disappointed with the negligible economic benefit on the Alexandria side of being part of the national capital. Alexandria still had an important port and market in the slave trade, and as talk increased of abolishing slavery in the national capital, there was concern that Alexandria's economy would suffer greatly if this step were taken. After a referendum, voters petitioned Congress and Virginia to return the portion of the District of Columbia south of the Potomac River Alexandria County to Virginia. On July 9, 1846, Congress retroceded Alexandria County to Virginia. The city of Alexandria was rechartered in 1852 and became independent of Alexandria County in 1870. The remaining portion of Alexandria County changed its name to Arlington County in 1920. Late 19th century The first fatalities of the North and South in the American Civil War occurred in Alexandria. 
Within a month of the Battle of Fort Sumter, Union troops occupied Alexandria, landing troops at the base of King Street on the Potomac River on May 24, 1861. A few blocks up King Street from their landing site, the commander of the New York Fire Zouaves, Colonel Elmer E. Ellsworth, sortied with a small detachment to retrieve a large Confederate flag displayed on the roof of the Marshall House Inn that had been visible from the White House. While descending from the roof, Ellsworth was shot dead by Captain James W. Jackson, the hotel's proprietor. One of Ellsworth's soldiers immediately killed Jackson. Ellsworth was publicized as a Union martyr, and the incident generated great excitement in the North, with many children being named for him. Jackson's death defending his home caused a similar, though less lasting sensation, in the South. Alexandria remained under military occupation until the end of the war. Fort Ward, one of a ring of forts built by the Union Army for the defense of Washington, D.C., is located inside the boundaries of present-day Alexandria. After the creation by Washington of the state of West Virginia in 1863 and until the close of the war, Alexandria was the seat of the so-called Restored Government of Virginia, also known as the Alexandria Government. During the Union occupation, a recurring contention between the Alexandria citizenry and the military occupiers was the Union Army's periodic insistence that church services include prayers for the President of the United States. Failure to do so resulted in incidents including the arrest of ministers in their church. In 1861 and 1862, escaped African American slaves poured into Alexandria. Safely behind Union lines, the cities of Alexandria and Washington offered comparative freedom and employment. Alexandria became a major supply depot and transport and hospital center for the Union Army. Until the Emancipation Proclamation of January 1, 1863, escaped slaves legally remained the property of their owners. Therefore, they were labeled contrabands to avoid returning them to their masters. Contrabands worked for the Union Army in various support roles. After all slaves in the seceding states were liberated, even more African Americans came to Alexandria. By the fall of 1863, the population of Alexandria had exploded to 18,000, an increase of 10,000 people in 16 months. As of ratification of the 15th Amendment, Alexandria County's black population was more than 8,700, or about half the total number of residents in the county. This newly enfranchised constituency provided the support necessary to elect the first black Alexandrians to the city council and the Virginia legislature. 20th century At the turn of the 20th century the most common production in the city was glass, fertilizer, beer and leather. The glass often went into beer bottles. Much of the Virginia Glass Company effort went to supply the demands of the Robert Portner Brewing Company, until fire destroyed the St. Asaph Street plant on February 18, 1905. The Old Dominion Glass Company also had a glass works fall to fire, then built a new one. The Bell Pre Bottle Company held a monopoly on a milk bottle that they patented, yet that organization only lasted ten years. Most businesses were smaller where the business occupied the first floor of a building and the owner and family lived above. Prohibition closed Portner Brewing in 1916. President Woodrow Wilson visited the Virginia Shipbuilding Corporation on May 30, 1918, to drive the first rivet into the keel of the SS Gunston Hall. In 1930, Alexandria annexed the town adjacent to Potomac Yard, incorporated in 1908, named Potomac. In 1938, the Mount Vernon Drive In Cinema opened. In 1939, the segregated public library experienced a sit in organized by Samuel Wilbert Tucker. In 1940 both the Robert Robinson Library, which is now the Alexandria Black History Museum, and the Vernon Theatre opened Jim Morrison of the Doors, as well as Cass Elliott and John Phillips of the Mamas and the Papas attended the George Washington High School in the 1950s. In 1955, then-Congressman and future President Gerald R. Ford and his family moved to Alexandria from Georgetown. The Fords remained in their Alexandria home during Ford's tenure as vice president 1973-1974, as the vice president did not yet have an official residence. Following the resignation of Richard Nixon, Ford spent his first ten days as president in the House before moving to the White House. In March 1959, Lieutenant Colonel William Henry Whalen, the highest ranking American ever recruited as a mole by the Russian intelligence service, provided Colonel Sergei A. Ademsky three classified army manuals in exchange for $3,500 at a shopping center parking lot within the city. 
Agents of the Federal Bureau of Investigation later arrested Whalen on July 12, 1966 at his home in the city. In 1961 the Woodrow Wilson Bridge opened, in 1965 the city integrated schools. In 1971 the city consolidated all high school students into T.C. Williams High School. The same year that head coach Herman Boone joined the school and lead the football team to a 13-0 season, state championship, and national championship runner-up, the basis for the 2000 film Remember the Titans where Boone was portrayed by Denzel Washington. In 1972 Clifford T. Klein purchased the 1890 Victorian house at 219 King Street and converted it into the Creole-serving 219 restaurant. In 1973 Nora Lamborn and Beverly Beidler became the first women elected to the city council. In 1974 the Torpedo Factory Art Center opened. In 1983 the King Street Old Town Station and Eisenhower Avenue Station both opened. In 1984 the Islamic Saudi Academy opened, and Parker Gray Historic District in 1991 Patricia Tyser became the first women elected mayor. Topic: History of libraries. John Wise, a local Alexandria businessman and hotel keeper, hosted a meeting in his home in 1789 to discuss the creation of a society for the promotion of useful knowledge. Members include Rev. James Muir, physician Elisha Cullen Dick, and George Washington's personal attorney Charles Lee. The society did not last for long. However, on July 24, 1794, the founders of the society once again met at Wise's home to establish a subscription library. During the first year, 119 men joined the circulating library which was to be called the Library Company of Alexandria. Members agreed to pay an initiation fee and annual dues. The company was chartered as a corporation in 1798 in an act passed by the General Assembly of Virginia. Druggist Edward Stabler was elected the first librarian and the library's first location is believed to have been housed in his apothecary shop. James Kennedy was elected the second librarian, and the library moved to his residence and place of business. Kennedy sold books from his personal collection to the library company. Those books and other bought from two local merchants formed the foundation of the subscription library. The first catalogue of the library's collection was published in 1797. The collection grew over time, bolstered in part by the fact that some members paid their dues in books. Most members were initially men, although records exist showing some women were members as early as 1798. One noted female member in 1817 was Mary L. F. Custis, wife of George Washington Park Custis. The catalogue published in 1801 indicated a collection of 452 books, mostly on history and travel. By 1815, there were 1,022 entries in the catalogue, and the collection had added more biographies, fiction, and magazines. The library was housed in several locations over the ensuing years, including the new market house next to the City Hall, the Lyceum Company Building, and Peabody Hall, which was owned by the Alexandria School Board. Raising funds for the library was a continuing challenge. In 1853, a lecture series was created to raise money. Speakers included Professor Joseph Henry of the Smithsonian, Colonel Francis H. Smith of the Virginia Military Institute, and humorist George W. Bagby. The arrival of the Civil War in 1861 took its toll on the library collection. Members were able to remove some of the collection prior to the library's occupation by Union troops. The library was used as a hospital and much of the library's collection was lost during this time. After the war, the building was sold to a private owner who planned to turn the building into a private residence and asked the library to remove what was left of the collection. Funds continued to be hard to come by and in 1879, the library company closed. The remainder of its collection was stored in Peabody Hall. In 1897, a group of women in Alexandria formed the Alexandria Library Association. The leaders of the group were Virginia Course, Mrs. William B. Smoot, and Virginia Burke. They petitioned the school board to open a subscription library in Peabody Hall, using the old books stored there. Permission was given and doors to the new subscription library opened on December 1, 1897. In 1902, the library moved to the first floor of a house in the 1300 block of Prince Street while negotiations were underway for a permanent move to the Confederate Hall, located at 806 Prince Street. 
In May 1903, the library moved to the Confederate Hall, now known as the Robert E. Lee Camp Hall Museum, where it stayed for 34 years. In 1936, Dr. and Mrs. Robert South Barrett presented a proposal to the Library Association. They agreed to donate a building in memory of Dr. Barrett's mother, Kate Waller Barrett, if the city would commit to running it as a public library. The city agreed and the Society of Friends offered a 99-year lease on an old Quaker graveyard located on Queen Street. The old library was closed on March 1 for the books to be packed and moved to the new library, which opened to the public in August 1937. The Alexandria Library Association became the Alexandria Library Society. In 1939, the Barrett Library was the scene of possibly the nation's first sit-in demonstrations, as Samuel Tucker, a young law school graduate from the neighborhood, and several other African-American residents insisted on access to the racially segregated library where they had been banned. Tucker later became a prominent attorney in Richmond. In 1947, the Library Society was reconstituted and took the earlier historic name Alexandria Library Company. A lecture series was also revived. Speakers included Thomas Jefferson biographer Dumas Malone. Some of the books belonging in the original collection of the Alexandria Library Company can now be found in the local history, special collections room at the Queen Street Library that still carries Mrs. Barrett's name. In 1948, Ellen Coolidge Burke became director. Burke brought bookmobile services to Alexandria, one of the first services in Virginia. She oversaw the growth of the library system by the addition of two new branch libraries. In April 1968 the Ellen Coolidge Burke branch at 4701 Seminary Road was opened, and in December 1969 the James M. Duncan branch at 2501 Commonwealth Avenue. Burke retired in 1969. Geography <laughs> 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 According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 15.5 square miles, 40.1 square kilometers, of which 15.0 square miles, 38.9 square kilometers is land and 0.42 square miles, 1.1 square kilometers or 2.85% is water. Alexandria is bounded on the east by the Potomac River, on the north and northwest by Arlington County, and on the south by Fairfax County. The western portions of the city were annexed from those two entities beginning in the 1930s. The addressing system in Alexandria is not uniform and reflects the consolidation of several originally separate communities into a single city. In Old Town Alexandria, building numbers are assigned north and south from King Street and west only from the Potomac River. In the areas formerly in the town of Potomac, such as Del Rey and St. Elmo, building numbers are assigned east and west from Commonwealth Avenue and north only from King Street. In the western parts of the city, building numbers are assigned north and south from Duke Street. The zip code prefix 223 uniquely identifies the Alexandria Postal Area. However, the Alexandria Postal Area extends into Fairfax County and includes addresses outside of the city. Delivery areas have zip codes 22301, 22302, 22203, 22304, 22305, 22306, 22307, 22308, 22309, 22310, 22311, 22312, 22314, and 22 2315, with other zip codes in use for post office boxes and large mailers 22313, 22331, 22332, 22333. Part of the George Washington Memorial Parkway is the one national protected area within the borders of Alexandria. Adjacent jurisdictions Neighborhoods Neighborhoods in Alexandria include Old Town, Eisenhower Valley, Rosemont, The Burg, Parker Gray, Del Rey, Arlandria, West End, North Ridge, and Potomac Yard. 
Many areas outside the city have an Alexandria mailing address yet are a part of Fairfax County including, Holland Hills, Franconia, Groveton, Hybla Valley, Huntington, Lincolnia, Bell Haven, Mount Vernon, Fort Hunt, Angleside, Burgundy Village, Waynewood, Wilton Woods, Rose Hill, Virginia Hills, Hayfield, and Kingstown. Some refer to these areas as Lower Alexandria, South Alexandria, or Alexandria, Fairfax County. Climate The climate in this area is characterized by hot, humid summers and generally mild to cool winters. According to the Köppen climate classification system, Alexandria has a humid subtropical climate, abbreviated CFA, on climate maps. Demographics <inaudible> 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 At the 2010 census, there were 139,966 people, 68,082 households and 30,978 families residing in the city. The population density was 8,452.0 per square miles per square kilometers. There were 68,082 housing units at an average density of 4,233.2 per square miles (1,634.2 per square kilometers). The racial ethnic mix of the population was 60.9% white, 21.8% African American, 6.0% Asian, 1.3% Indian, 1.0% Filipino, 0.9% Chinese, 0.8% Korean, 0.5% Thai, 0.3% Vietnamese, 0.2% Japanese, 1.0% Other, 0.4% Native American, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 3.7% from two or more races. 16.1% of the population were Hispanics or Latinos of any national origin, 4.6% Salvadoran, 1.7% Mexican, 1.6% Honduran, 1.1% Guatemalan, 1.1% Puerto Rican, 0.9% Bolivian, 0.8% Peruvian, 0.4% Colombian. In 2000, there were 61,889 households, of which 18.6% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 32.2% were married couples living together, 9.2% had a female householder with no husband present, and 55.2% were non-families, 43.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 6.8% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.04 and the average family size was 2.87. The age distribution was 16.8% under the age of 18, 9.2% from 18 to 24, 43.5% from 25 to 44, 21.5% from 45 to 64, and 9.0% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 34 years. For every 100 females, there were 93.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 91.7 males. According to a 2007 estimate, the median household income was $80,806 and the median family income was $102,435. Males had a median income of $47,514 versus $41,254 for females. The per capita income for the city was $37,645, 8.9% of the population and 6.8% of families were below the poverty line, 13.9% of those under the age of 18 and 9.0% of those 65 and older were living below the poverty line. 58% of Alexandria residents have at least a bachelor's degree, compared with a 33% statewide average. Topic economy Companies headquartered in Alexandria include the Institute for Defense Analyses, VSE, The Motley Fool, Port City Brewing Company, Oxford Finance, Think Fun, Oblon Law Firm, Mandiant, Botus, and the Pentagon Federal Credit Union. Federal agencies based in Alexandria include the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, National Science Foundation, Office of the Inspector General, U.S. Department of Defense, and the Food and Nutrition Service. 
Alexandria is home to numerous trade associations, charities, and non-profit organizations including the national headquarters of groups such as Catholic Charities, Citizens for the Republic, Global Impact, Good 360, Islamic Relief USA, United Way, Volunteers of America and the Salvation Army. Other organizations located in Alexandria include the American Counseling Association, the Society for Human Resource Management, the National Society of Professional Engineers, the National Beer Wholesalers Association, National Industries for the Blind, American Physical Therapy Association and the International Center for Missing and Exploited Children Major employment sectors in Alexandria include management, business and finance, office and administrative support, computer and mathematical, sales, and legal. In total, firms in Alexandria employ approximately 91,000 people. Jobs in Alexandria are highly concentrated around the city's Metrorail stations, primarily in Old Town North and the Braddock Road area, Old Town, and Carlisle near the Eisenhower Avenue station, as well as along the I-395 corridor on the west side of the city. 13% of people that work in Alexandria live in the city, while 87% commute in, with 37% of those commuters being from Fairfax County. An additional 61,000 people commute out of Alexandria to work. 35% commute to Washington, D.C. and 29% commute to Fairfax County. As of 2016, 2.9% 2 of Alexandria residents were unemployed. Largest employers According to the city's 2017 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the top public employers in the city, whose employees make up an estimated 14.07% of the total city employment, are The Department of Commerce includes the Patent and Trademark Office, which is based in the city. The top private employers in the city, whose employees make up an estimated 7.10% of the total city employment, are Topic. Arts and culture Topic. Events A popular Christmastime attraction in Alexandria is the Scottish Christmas Walk, which was established in 1969. The event, which involves a parade through the centre of Old Town Alexandria, celebrates the city's Scottish heritage, and is the centrepiece of a yearly holiday festival. It serves as a fundraiser for social services in Alexandria. Other parades in Old Town celebrate St. Patrick's Day and the birthday of George Washington. Other annual events include the Red Cross Waterfront Festival in June, various ethnic heritage days at Tavern Square, and First Night Alexandria which presents many family-friendly entertainments on New Year's Eve. These parades and other official events are typically led by Alexandria's town crier, who, often dressed in elaborately, by a tradition dating to the 18th century, in a red coat, breeches, black boots and a tricorn hat, welcomes participants. Topic landmarks Landmarks within the city include the George Washington Masonic National Memorial also known as the Masonic Temple and Observation Deck, Christ Church, Gadsby's Tavern, John Carlisle House, Little Theatre of Alexandria, Lee Fendel House, Alexandria City Hall, Market Square, the Jones Point Light, the South Cornerstone of the original District of Columbia, Robert E. Lee's Boyhood Home, the Torpedo Factory Art Center, and the Virginia Theological Seminary. Other sites of historical interest in the city include Alexandria Black History Resource Center, Fort Ward Park and Museum, and the Alexandria Canal Lock Recreation at Canal Office Center. Interesting sites with Alexandria addresses but outside of the city limits include River Farm, Collingwood Library and Museum, Green Spring Gardens Park, Huntley Meadows Park, Historic Huntley, Pope Leahy House designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, Woodlawn Plantation, Washington's Grist Mill and Mount Vernon Estate. In 1830, John Hollinsbury's home in Alexandria was one of two homes directly bordering an alleyway that received a large amount of horse-drawn wagon traffic and loiterers. In order to prevent people from using the alleyway, Hollinsbury constructed a 7 feet meters wide, 25 feet meters deep, 325-square-foot two-story home using the existing brick walls of the adjacent homes for the sides of the new home. The brick walls of the Hollinsbury Spite House living room have gouges from wagon wheel hubs. The house is still standing and is occupied. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Sports. Due to its proximity to Washington, Alexandria has only been the home of one professional sports team, the Alexandria Dukes, a minor league baseball team which has moved to Woodbridge and is now named the Potomac Nationals. However, the Cal Ripken Collegiate Baseball League brought baseball back to Alexandria in 2008 in the form of the Alexandria Aces. In addition, T.C. Williams, Bishop Irritan, St. Stephen's and Episcopal have storied histories in athletics, such as football, basketball, baseball and lacrosse. The largest youth sport in Alexandria is soccer with almost 2,500 players ages 2 to 18 who participate in the Alexandria Soccer Association. <laughs> Parks and recreation Alexandria has a distributed park system with approximately 950 acres (3.8 square kilometers) spread across 70 major parks and 30 recreation centers, of which Chinkapin is one of the largest. Chinkapin offers facilities for swimming, tennis, racquetball, and other sports. The city also organizes several sports leagues throughout the year, including volleyball, softball, and basketball. The city is home to Cameron Run Regional Park which includes a water park with a wave pool and water slides, as well as a miniature golf course and batting cages. A portion of the Mount Vernon Trail, a popular bike and jogging path, runs through Old Town near the Potomac River on its way from the Mount Vernon Estate to Roosevelt Island in Washington, D.C. There is also a largely unbroken line of parks stretching along the Alexandria waterfront from end to end. Government As an independent city of Virginia as opposed to an incorporated town within a county, Alexandria derives its governing authority from the Virginia General Assembly. In order to revise the power and structure of the city government, the city must request the General Assembly to amend the charter. The present charter was granted in 1950 and it has been amended in 1968, 1971, 1976, and 1982. Alexandria adopted a council manager form of government by way of referendum in 1921. This type of government empowers the elected city council to pass legislation and appoint the city manager. The city manager is responsible for overseeing the city's administration. The mayor, who is chosen on a separate ballot, presides over meetings of the council and serves as the ceremonial head of government. The mayor does not have the power to veto council action. Council members traditionally choose the person receiving the most votes in the election to serve as vice mayor. In the absence or disability of the mayor, the vice mayor performs the mayoral duties. In 2008, the city of Alexandria had 78 standing local boards, commissions, and committees to advise the city council on major issues affecting the community. All members are appointed by the city council. Alexandria is part of Virginia's 8th congressional district, represented by Democrat and Alexandria resident Don Bayer, elected in 2014. The state's senior member of the United States Senate is Democrat Mark Warner, elected in 2008. The state's junior member of the United States Senate is Democrat Tim Kaine, elected in 2012. The city operates a jail for pre-trial and short-term inmates. This jail is used to house pre-trial inmates in federal espionage cases. <laughs> EcoCity In 2008 the City Council approved a charter where, "...citizens, businesses, and city government participate in a vibrant community that is always mindful of the needs and lifestyles of the generations to come." That charter defines sustainability as, "...meeting our community's present needs while preserving our historic character and ensuring the ability of future generations to meet their own needs." In EcoCity Berkeley Register defined an EcoCity as an ecologically healthy city. Topic: Education. Topic: Schools. The city is served by the Alexandria City Public Schools system and by the Alexandria campus of Northern Virginia Community College. 
The largest seminary in the Episcopal Church, Virginia Theological Seminary, is located on Seminary Road. Virginia Tech's Washington Alexandria Architecture Center, also known as WAAC, is located on Prince Street in Old Town, offering graduate programs in urban affairs and planning, public and international affairs, architecture, and landscape architecture. Virginia Commonwealth University operates a Northern Virginia branch of its School of Social Work and the George Washington University Washington, D.C. also has a campus near the King Street Metro. This campus mainly offers professional and vocational programs, such as an executive MBA program, urban planning and security studies. Alexandria has several of the Washington, D.C., area's top private schools, such as St. Stephen's and St. Agnes School, Bishop Irritan High School, and Episcopal High School. Also in the city are Alexandria Country Day School, Commonwealth Academy, St. Mary's Catholic School, St. Rita's Catholic School, Blessed Sacrament School and Global Health College. Alexandria's public school system consists of 13 elementary schools for grades 5-year-old kindergarten through grade 5. Middle schools, George Washington and Francis C. Hammond, serve 6th through 8th graders. Minnie Howard 9th grade center and T.C. Williams High School serve grades 9th and 10 through 12, respectively, for the entire city. The demographics of Alexandria City Public Schools contrast with those of the city. In 2008, only 14% of the students at Francis C. Hammond Middle School were non-Hispanic whites, compared to about 60% when looking at the city as a whole. 27% were of Hispanic descent, and 48% were black. About 9% of the school was of Asian descent. In 2004, 62% of the schoolgoing children received free lunches. By 2008, that number had decreased to 56%. At George Washington Middle School, 41% of students are non Hispanic whites, 34% were Hispanic, and 21% was black, 2% of the students were Asian, and 52% of students received free lunch. T.C. Williams High School follows this trend as well, 23% of the students were classified as non-Hispanic whites, 25% as Hispanic, and 44% as black. 7% of the school was Asian, and 47% of all students received free lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Infrastructure Transportation Alexandria is bisected east and west by State Route 7, known as King Street. The most western section of King Street here once was the terminus of the Leesburg Turnpike. Interstate 95, 495 the Capitol Beltway, including the Woodrow Wilson Bridge over the Potomac River, approximately parallels the city's southern boundary with Fairfax County. Interstate 395 crosses north and south through the western part of the city. Other major routes include north-south US 1, Patrick and Henry Streets after Patrick Henry, Jefferson Davis Highway and Richmond Highway, Washington Street, George Washington Memorial Parkway, Russell Road, Quaker Lane, Van Dorn Street and Beauregard Street, and east-west Duke Street State Route 236, Braddock Road and Janney's Lane, Seminary Road. Alexandria is south of, adjacent to Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport in Arlington County. Alexandria is also near to Washington Dulles International Airport in Dulles, Virginia. Alexandria Union Station, the city's historic train station, has Amtrak intercity services and the Virginia Railway Express Regional Rail Service. The station is directly adjacent to the King Street, Old Town Washington Metro Station, at the convergence of the blue and yellow lines. Three other metro stations in Alexandria are Braddock Road, Van Dorn Street, and Eisenhower Avenue. The traditional boundary between Old Town and the latterly annexed sections of the city followed the railway now owned by CSX Transportation. The city government operates its own mass transit system, the Dash Bus, connecting points of interest with local transit hubs. Metrobus, Washington Metro, and the Virginia Railway Express, better known as the VRE, also serve Alexandria. The city also offers a free trolley diesel bus service on King Street from the King Street Metro Station to the waterfront and a water taxi to and from the National Harbor Development in Prince George's County, Maryland. 
Until 2014, local legislation mandated that all new north south streets in the city be named for Confederate military leaders. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Public Libraries. The Alexandria Library serves the residents of Alexandria, and provides a variety of services which include adult, young adult, and children's materials, as well as access to genealogy records and full-text articles from thousands of magazines and newspapers through online databases. E-books can be borrowed through Overdrive e-audio books and all branches offer free public internet access and free Wi-Fi. The Alexandria Library maintains a reciprocal agreement with neighboring libraries in Arlington, District of Columbia, Fairfax, Falls Church, Fauquier, Frederick, Loden, Montgomery, Prince George's, and Prince William. Topic Notable people Diedrich Bader, actor Chad Dukes, Alexandria, Virginia radio personality, pioneer in podcasting Cass Elliott and John Phillips of the Mamas and the Papas Gerald R. Ford, former President of the United States, lived in Park Fairfax, and later on Crown View Drive, where he lived during his term as Vice President and for the first ten days of his presidency Rick Franklin, a Piedmont blues guitarist, singer and songwriter, was born in Alexandria. Thomas Kyle, theater director Robert E. Lee, Civil War general, grew up on Aranaco Street Thad Levine, general manager of Minnesota Twins, was born in Alexandria Jim Morrison of the Doors Mick Mulvaney, director of the Office of Management and Budget and former U.S. congressman representing South Carolina, born in Alexandria Dean Matadi, former American football player and current WWE wrestler Richard M. Nixon, former president of the United States, lived in Park Fairfax, Eddie Royal, Chicago Bears wide receiver Willard Scott, national television personality, grew up in Rosemont Werner von Braun, NASA rocket scientist Megan Young, Miss World Philippines 2013 and Miss World 2013 In popular culture The PBS TV series Mercy Street is set in Alexandria during the Civil War. The Walking Dead comic book series and subsequent TV adaptation features a protected area of Alexandria known as the Safe Zone. The 2000 film Remember the Titans about T.C. Williams High School football team's 1971 state championship team, takes place in Alexandria and the cemetery scene was filmed at Ivy Hill Cemetery in Alexandria. Alternative rock band The Foo Fighters has a track titled, Arlandria, on their 2011 release Wasting Light, front man and ex-Nirvana drummer Dave Grohl lived in Alexandria during the early 2000s and recorded two Foo Fighters albums in his home studio. The Arlandria neighborhood is also referenced in the song, Headwires, from the band's 1999 release, There Is Nothing Left To Lose. In the X-Files, the address of Special Agent Fox Mulder is given as Apartment 42, 2630 Hegel Place, Alexandria, Virginia, 23242. <laughs> Sister cities Alexandria has four sister cities. Alexandria was twinned with Gumri as a means of showing goodwill in the wake of the 1988 Armenian earthquake. Topic: See also List of famous people from the Washington D.C. metropolitan area National Register of Historic Places listings in Alexandria, Virginia Alexandria Police Department Alexandria Fire Department Wales Brewery <laughs>